Hi, beloved. Bless you all. Welcome indeed. I have this wonderful message that I want to share with someone that is watching me today, right? Yes, someone is watching me today. You're a man, you're a woman, and you're watching me today, and you have been a good man. You have been a good woman. And because you have been a good man, a good woman, right? Yes, some people have seen that, and they have some malicious intent towards you guys. But I want you to understand, fear not, beloved, right? But continue to focus on yourselves, Yes, beloved, continue to be who you are, right? Yes, guys, and now watch the slander that they are slandering you, left, right, and center, right? What I mean by that, for example, they have an old slang say, you know better, you do better, right? They have another old saying saying, guys, right? Yes, that, you know, no matter how much you do good, people will talk bad about you, right? Even if you do good, they talk. Even if you do bad, they're going to talk. So what I mean, it means, beloved, continue to focus on yourselves. Yes, beloved, continue to be who you are, beloved, and continue, right? Yes, to walk in the path of righteousness. What I mean by that? Well, let's see in 1 Peter 3, verse 16, hear what God is saying to you. God is saying to you in 1 Peter 3, verse 16, keeping a clear conscience, so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. So what is powerful scriptures of First Peter 3 verse 16 is saying, it's saying, beloved, right? Yes, it is better to suffer in doing good than doing evil, guys, right? Yes, it, it is better for you to do good than doing bad, right? And even if you do good, people are going to talk about it. They're going to slander your name. But one thing for sure, they're going to live in shame, right? God is going to shame those people who continue to slander you as a man, as a woman. So I want somebody to understand, right, that those who are slandering your name left, right, and center, those who have malicious intent towards you, they're going to be exposed. They're going to, right, be living in shame, right? Yes, they're going to live in shame and regret indeed, guys. So read First Peter 3, verse 16. Meditate on that scripture and apply it in one's life. God is going to shame some people, beloved, right? Because they're going to stop slandering your name. They're stop slaughter your name right guys yes blessings peace and love what good thank you